So in the main booklet for Engineering a Better World, there's uh, some activities that you can really use to set the scene with your students. So this is to make them you know, a bit more aware of some of the global issues that the world is facing. So there's some things which, I have, which have links to geography, for example. They're looking at the continents and how that relates to the population of each one. And then they go through another research task, which actually focuses in a little bit more about Africa. So what they're doing is they're thinking about where these engineering tasks actually fit in in the bigger picture. We also include some tasks that are related to the Sustainable Development Goals. So the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, otherwise known as the Global Goals, are a set of outcomes um, set by the UN um, to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. We've chosen six Sustainable Development Goals to give students a bit more focus because obviously looking at all 17 can be quite overwhelming. Um, we just give them some simple research tasks for them to work on. As well as that, um, we obviously want students to look at the Africa Prize for Engineering Innovation in a bit more detail as well. So this is an award offered by the Royal Academy which encourages ambitious and talented sub-Saharan African engineers with different areas of expertise to apply their skills to develop uh, different solutions to local challenges. So we provide a link to the Africa Prize um, interactive map and the students can use this to search for different engineers, look at different countries, find the sustainable development goal that the innovation is linked towards. I think what's really nice about this resource is it's not just some nameless country or some kind of, I guess, a task that doesn't have a context. You actually know about some of the real engineers involved and actually what they've done to, to not only think about the engineering side of it, but how that fits in with their local community and sustainability as well. So, yeah, a big part of this resource is really getting students to think about how different people all around the world have uh, found a, lo a problem in their area and developed a solution for that problem. And again, if you want to find this resource, have a look at the STEM Resources website from the Royal Academy of Engineering.